So Scott, you think I could be happy married to a vacuum uh, cleaner salesman? I thought you didn't want to talk to me about stuff like that. I just don't want to talk to you about that. See, this is what I love about you religious people. Your sex life is somehow holier than thou, but the rest of us is, a, is, is, is not allowed to have any. Oh, are you, you know other Muslim people? Muslim, Presbyterian, you're all the same. <laughs> okay, now you're way off the bean. Bean, Sahara, not the bean. I'm going to teach you these things. You ought to learn them properly. Okay, now I think we are having a fight. I've been victimized my whole life, Sahara, by the people who believe that the Christian religion is the only and right, right and only one. And a lot of them think that I, I'm going to burn in hell, and some of them think, seem more than anxious to hurry the process along. Okay, I am not telling you this. Hey, what right have you to tell me that my sexual orientation disqualifies me <laughs> from manhood? The way it is in Morocco, that's all. Well, it, you know, it's, a, it, it, it's the way it is in a lot of backward places, Sahar. Why are you shouting? I don't know. I don't know why I'm shouting. I just, at least I don't know why I'm shouting at you. Right? Is there someone else you're angry with? Yes. Okay, great. Then why don't you go to our shout at them? Great. Um, there's one thing that just jumped out at me. Yeah. So um, the part where you, it says, you say, don't yell at me, right? Or something like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're yelling. Why are you yelling? Yeah, why are you shouting? Yeah, why, are you? why are you shouting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, yeah. Yeah, Alex, were you shouting? Uh, not as much as I could. Yeah. <laughs> so can you just do a little bit better? When you get to that part, just shout. Shout. And and oh, and we'll just see what that does. So just back up a few lines before it. When you get to that part, indeed, shout for sure. And then we'll just see what it does. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Um, where do you want to take it from? It's right at the beginning. Yeah, I mean, it's right at the beginning, yeah. Yeah, so, um, so, so Scott, you think I could be happy married to a vacuum cleaner salesman? I thought you didn't want to talk to me about stuff like that. Yeah, I, ju I just don't want to talk to you about that. See, this is what I love about you religious people. Your sex life is somehow holier than thou, and then the rest of us can't have any. What, do you know other Muslim people? No, I, I'm, I'm Muslims, Presbyterians, you're all the same. <laughs> okay, now you're way off the beam. Beam, Sahara, not bean. If, you're gonna, if I'm going to teach you these things, if I'm going to teach you, you should probably learn them properly. Okay. I think maybe we are having a fight. I've been victimized my whole life by people who believe that Christian religion is the, the only right and, and good one. And those people think that I should be burning in hell. And some of them think that they really want that process to hurry up and speed up. Okay, I am not telling you this. What right have you to tell me that my sexuality disqualifies me from, from being a man? It's just like this in Morocco. That's, 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 that's well, it's, it's the same way it is in a lot of places like that. In a lot of backward places, Sahar. What are you shouting? Sir? I don't know. I don't know why I'm shouting. I, I, I mean, uh, at least I don't know why I'm shouting at you. Right? Is there someone else you are angry with? Yes. Okay, great. You go shout at them. Scott. Sorry, I just, I, uh, um, I'm sorry. I am. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't expect that. Um, it's okay. What happened? What happened? My dad died, and I just heard. How? Ah, <laughs> uh, earlier tonight. didn't say anything. Uh, oh, he, was, he, was, he was sick for a long time. I didn't expect us to. I thought that would make it easier, you know, but it's not making it easier. 
I, I, I didn't have, I thought it wouldn't be, I thought it wouldn't seem sudden, but it seems sudden. Yeah. You want water? No, no, no thanks. All right, beautiful guys, so good, so good. So good. All right, come on back, everybody. Let's talk about what's different about it. What changed in that go? Oh, um, boy, <laughs> that was wild. Um, so wonderful. I think um, the prior circumstances and the current circumstances just felt so much deeper to me. Mm -hmm. And it just was very moving. Mm -hmm. Agreed, yeah. What else? What else is different? Well, I found that the shouting kind of opened him up, opened uh, Alex up a little bit and by opening him up a little bit a little bit a lot uh and then uh, with Porna and it just kind of started Beautiful. snowballing yeah. it was it's really just surprising 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 all the way along I saw yeah. you guys being surprised all the way along yeah, yeah. that was great and the emotions went from laughing to crying back to laughing like it just was so fluid I felt also I was I felt really I was eavesdropping on a very private conversation and moment moments between the two of you. And what did you guys notice, Alex and Porno? What was different for you? Yeah, it was really surprising. We've done it a lot of times and I I certainly haven't been moved like this. I, I, I definitely get very moved at the end mm -hmm. um, of the of the story and I have to like mm -hmm. keep a lid on that usually because mm -hmm. it's called 910 like it's mm -hmm. the day it's a night before 911 ah. um, mm -hmm. <laughs> but mm -hmm. i've never been moved in the middle yeah not never been moved it was the first time that the middle hit me yeah and alex <laughs> yeah it was uh well you know her and i have been talking about um you know i was just having a hard time uh letting the circumstances be there mm -hmm. um so a script says you know some does there a textual or verbal reference to somebody shouting and one way to think of that you know sometimes actors run into this and it, it oddly becomes this thing where it's like oh no i gotta gear up for that or i gotta do something to do it or i gotta own it or i gotta feel it or any of these things um but of course, we can flip that and take complete advantage of it. It's something to do. It makes no difference, perhaps, what, what your mental state is or what you're feeling or any of that stuff. It's just like, oh, this is the part where I shout. I will shout. And the gift of that, of course, is that there is a direct connection between us engaging our voices like that and it opening us up. It, it encourages response. It is stirring, just doing it. And so because of that, as a player, if you recognize, you go like, oh, shout, awesome. I definitely, whatever the hell happens, I will definitely shout when I get to that bit. Knowing that it's a stimulus, right? And it's a, it's a rather strong stimulus and it's likely to stir up stuff that's, that's good 